In this video, we'll cover building your own reports in Service CEO. We begin on the Reports tab here, where you can see a list of all of the different report categories currently available in Service CEO. Note there is also a description of each category along the right-hand side. We'll click into the Job Analysis category for the purposes of this video. As with all categories here, you can see any reports that have previously been built and saved in Service CEO once you're inside the category. You can see here there's a Run button, which will allow you to run any of the reports without clicking and making any edits or changes. To make changes to the report criteria, we would simply click the Edit button here, which will open the report in edit mode and allow us to change the criteria and layout options. You can also type in a description here to describe the actual report on top of the name itself here. Coming back to our list of reports. You can also click the link of the name, which will simply open the settings, but in view mode only. You would then have to click edit to make any changes. This is also how you would delete your report from the system. You can see who created the report and when it was created, as well as when the report was last edited and by whom. We'll go ahead and hit build new report to overview how you use criteria and layout in Service CEO. Again, this is the case in all reports. The first thing you need to do with the report is give it a name. Second, you give the report a description. If you use business units and you would like the report to be visible to business units under yours, you simply check this box here and it's viewable for the other business units. If it is strictly something that you would like to see and don't wish to share with your other business units, you keep this box unchecked. Note your business units can build their own reports as well. Within the report, there are two tabs. The first is the criteria tab. This is where you filter out the data and decide what information you'd like to include into the report. For example, we can see here the first filter criteria option that I have is the date created. This allows me, for example, to say, I would only like this report to include work orders that were created this week. By setting your filter criteria as such, this report will exclude any work orders that were not created in this particular time period. Same concept with start date. And again, all date fields have our smart rolling date filters in here. So I could choose this month, for example, and have a current month's report that will only include, in this scenario, jobs that start this month. You can use any of our different filtering options that you see on the left hand side here, but please note that your options are different for each of the different report categories. For example, the customer list gives you a lot more options regarding the actual customer type and stuff as well, whereas the estimate analysis report has a lot more options regarding estimates and the estimate statuses. Note that if you are using custom fields in Service CEO, you can filter by them as well in any of these reports. If, for example, you are using a date custom field here, for example, the example start date, and you'd like to filter on it, first you check the box next to it. That brings the condition dropdown to life. The condition dropdown, when you're looking at a date filter, essentially lets you limit what dates you're looking at. Equals allows you to pick an exact date here. Whereas greater than is obviously going to be anything after this date. Greater than or equal to would be anything from April 6th onwards. Less than would be before that date. Less than or equal to would be anything from that date forward. Or in the range of allows you to pick a date range here. Again, you can manually choose your date range as such and it's custom. Or you can use our smart rolling date filters as well. This example would only include customers only include jobs for customers whose example start date was in last week. That's the criteria tab. Next, let's look at the layout tab. Here's where we'll format the report and decide how the information is displayed. The first choice to make on pretty much all report categories is summary versus detailed view. Note that you can click the info button to get more information on the, de the differences between summary and detailed view. Again, this differs for each report category. 
On certain categories, you will be able to include other information, for this example, the discount and tax breakdown, or the estimate, sales reps, and value. In the customer list report, for example, this is where you would choose whether you're looking for a phone call list, email list, or mailing labels. In the estimate analysis report, this is where you choose what kind of analytics and stats you'd like on the report. Again, format is either summary detailed or how you would like the information to be produced. Next, we have grouping. Grouping is how the information is summarized and sorted in Service CEO. By keeping level one as the creation date, this report would take all of the jobs that meet the criteria that we've selected here, and it would sort them by the date they were created in Service CEO. Again, you have different grouping options in each of the different report categories. Grouping it by assignee, for example, which means employee, would sort all of the jobs that each particular assignee was assigned to under them. Grouping them by charge will group the jobs by the actual charge that are on the invoices themselves. Note that you can group by custom fields in many different pages here. You will want to review your different grouping options as you build the reports to really get a sense of what your different options are within each category. However, you can also refer to the individual training videos we have on each category as well in Service CEO. Note that you can, in fact, sort by more than one level. If, for example, I first wanted to see everything grouped by assignee, and then I wanted to group it by the start date week, this will take the jobs that meet my criteria, it will first show everything for a particular assignee, and then within that assignee, it will summarize the jobs by the week that they start on. You can go up to three levels of our grouping. Finally, you can include optional columns from custom fields that you've created in the system. Again, these differ based on the report category here. To include the custom field, you simply come to optional columns, choose the field you'd like to build here, check it off, and then when you save and run the report, this field here will have its own separate column in the report in Service CEO. The best way to really get a hang of these reports is to go in and build your own reports. Try some examples, see what you can do. However, your customer success manager, our tech support team, and your sales representative will be more than happy to help you build your own reports as well.